Uh, I'm just going to give my complete honesty right off the rip. I do feel like these, like, I love these events. I love that we do this with Apex Legends. I think it's one of the greatest things with Apex Legends. However, I'm going to take a step back and I'm just going to complete transparency. I do not like how it, it's all built around, it is strongly built around the idea of purchase the packs, please. I would in the future, just my personal opinion, you guys let me know what you think down below. And I'm saying this in the nice, most constructive way possible to Apex Legends because at the end of the day, they are creating a free game. So I'm not sitting here complaining about like having to pay for cosmetics, but just calling it an event and everything like that, I think moving forward, it'd be nicer if they gave more options for people that potentially don't have the money to pay for this stuff. That's just how I feel. I'm not, again, I'm not saying that in no hate towards Apex Legends. I'm not saying that in any hate towards people that can't afford it. Um, I'm not, I'm also not trying to feed into the people that just use stupid excuses to compare games and say, oh, everything about EA and Apex Legends is you got to pay for everything. It's a free to play game. I just want to remind everybody out all the time. But taking a step back, big picture for events, for these big things that are supposed to bring the community together. I would just, just moving forward, I would just love to see Apex kind of bring more ideas on how to actually do just that. Bring the community together aside from just like, you know, collection events, skins and whatnot. Um, we do have Armed and Dangerous. So that's awesome. That's a big plus. That's the plus that I'm talking about. You know, a couple events ago, we didn't even get limited time modes. So at the very least, I think Apex is making good moves, giving us good quality content. But... Again, when it comes to this type of stuff, I would just, I'd like to see people that can't afford it to have the opportunity to collect these amazing items. Like, aside from having to spend 2400 crafting on each single item. That's crazy. That is crazy to me. I don't know. That's just me. You guys let me know what you think down below. Without further ado, though, let's get into this. Okay, so first and foremost, what we want to do first is we want to actually collect special offers. So if you guys don't know, this is going to unlock a prestige skin for Bangalore for us, which we've done this with Bloodhound already. And what this initially is being or becoming is becoming an heirloom version of a skin. Does that make sense? So for anybody that's confused as what prestige skins are, they're these rare collectible skins. So this whole entire Gaiden uh, thematic event is essentially like as if uh, a legend was dropping a new heirloom. It's a whole kind of same premise connection to it okay so to get the best deal possible to where you're not just spending all your money only on packs you want to make sure guys gals come and get the special bundles first buy the special bundles first trust me thank me later they will save you so much money in the long run it actually it, it tells you how much you save on these bundles that's, a, that's kind of a poor one, but hey, we'll do it anyways. We'll do it anyways because it's saving us. It's, it says right next to it how much it does save. And that is, that are, that is these two that come with the packs, by the way, if you guys didn't know. The bundles with the packs. Not all these bundles are going to make you save. So buy the bundles with the packs. <clears throat> come in. Unbox some of the packs. See what you got. See what you're looking at. Oh. Legendary crafting pack. That's pretty sick, actually. Because how many... Because we... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my gosh. What am I doing, chat? Oh, dude, we also got new Octane shit. Okay, that's, that's a huge plus. I will say that's a huge plus with this. I wanted some new Octane stuff. All right, so what what we want to do, I think, first, too, to even save more money is we want to unlock these little things. Oh, why am I not unlocking these? Oh, dude, that is so sick. Unlock all these little ones first, chat. All, the, all these blues, unlock these blues first to save the most money out of the pack, hypothetically speaking. It's just like with any event. You got to you just think outside the box a little bit. So this way, it removes it from the pool of odds as we unlock these packs. Does that make sense?
Because the less little stuff that we have to unlock, the better. Okay, that's unlocked. That's unlocked. Okay, so now... See, now we have 20 out of 40 packs, and we still have 13 drops to, to go through. Is the flatline pay to win? No. I, I'm pretty sure. I, that's a hell. Uh, what? What are the odds of that? What are the odds? I, I'm pretty sure somebody said that the flatline is actually pay to lose. I thought, who was it that released a video on that saying that it's actually pay to lose? But I equipped it. We'll go in and we'll, we'll check it out here in a second. Guys, make sure you guys are all hitting that like button. We are only six likes away from 100 likes on today's stream. Also, friendly reminder, make sure you guys are all joining the Thick Members Club today. Exclamation point, join, every, exclamation point, members, or there's a link at the top of the chat. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. The time, that timing was actually kind of wild, wasn't it? Yo, what's up, Reaper? How you doing, brother? This is the tedious part about these, isn't it? Going through every single one and unlocking it. Hey, which one we got? Oh my God. What, hey, what, hey, what? Watson letting the feet hang out. Watson letting the feet hang out. Hey, yo! Oh! Watson, you're missing out on free freaking money here. Yeah, for free. I would love to see them make more pay to win wing man skins. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. I'm not I'm never gonna use that. Red Rocket's just too good. Damn, let's go. There it is, baby. There it is, baby. Is a flatline skin like the he sink? In what way? <laughs> she needs to open up an OnlyFans for those feet. She really does, man. I can't believe she just let it hang out, hang out like that. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. All right, we got. Now we need seven more packs. All right. Yeah, the on the heatsink is pay to win. Hey, wait, is it really? Oh, oh, you're talking about the flatline skin. No, 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 it's not. Big boy! Dude, that one is sick. That's a badass Gibraltar frame. I'm not gonna lie. Gibraltar coming in hot. What's up, Cloud? How you doing, brother? Nice, that's the one that I wanted, man, right there. All right, here we go, baby! Let's go! Oh! Dude, that is so sick. That is so sick. That, that's a pretty sick prestige skin, I'm not gonna lie. Uh... Okay, there we go. All right, so yeah, it, it looks like, and with that, I got 2,600 left over chat. So it looks like the best way to unlock the whole entire Gaiden thematic event, the best process is going to be doing special offers first, 
Get the Marked Man bundle. Get the Oak Thump bundle. Come back here. Take whatever crafting you have and craft all the craft all these rare commons or cup. Craft all these rare items. And then even try to craft the epics. I didn't even think about that. Chat, why didn't you guys let me know we had six, like nearly 1,600 crafting left over? What? So, guys, that's how you get this whole entire event for, like, what? What is that? Like, $70? $70 or $80? Get the whole event for, like, $70 or $80 right there. You're welcome. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications. Appreciate you guys.